Hello everybody and welcome to a new Plan Zoo making of a DLC video. So this is one of the last ones. I know I said that last time, but I am slowly running out of ideas and I'll probably do redos if you would so wish to see them, just as there have been other ideas coming up. But today we're discussing the possibility of an exhibit animal pack. So the roster of exhibit animals in the game is, I'd like to say, lacking a bit of diversity as there are hundreds of exhibit animals that we don't have that are pretty common in zoos. Animals like chameleons, cobras, coconut crabs, and a lot of other animals beginning with the letter C. So there are plenty of options left for Planet Zoo to fill those exhibit boxes and perhaps even some other exhibit forms as we'll be discussing in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the animals. Some possible contenders for this roster of exhibit animals are largely lizards. I'm a big fan of lizards, and here are my contenders for the roster. The plumed basilisk, the panther chameleon, the frilled lizard, the toke gecko, the central bearded dragon, the caiman lizard, the tuatara that is not a lizard in fact, the regal horn lizard, the prehensile tailed skink, the chinese crocodile lizard, the fijian banded iguana, and the blue iguana, all of which would be fantastic to have in the game. Let me know which lizards you would like to see. One of the lizards' closest cousins are snakes. So let's look at our serpentine contenders. First of all, we have the king cobra, which needs no introduction, as well as the green anaconda, the reticulated python, the black mamba, the eyelash viper, the gaboon viper, the emerald tree boa, the ball python, the timber rattlesnake, the yellow lip sea crate, the mangrove cat snake, and the corn snake, all of which would be fantastic to have. Moving on, we have turtles and tortoises. So, beginning the list, alligator snapping turtle, by far my most requested turtle, the matter matter turtle, the pig nose turtle, the eastern box turtle, the pond slider, the radiated tortoise, the pancake tortoise. The Rhode Island snake neck turtle, the Chinese soft shell turtle, the painted terrapin, the Indian star tortoise, and the golden coin turtle, all of which would be great additions to the exhibits. Next, we have amphibians, beginning with the Chinese giant salamander, the Oriental fire bellied toad, the Panamanian golden frog, Mission golden eyed tree frog, the long nosed horned frog, the Argentine horned frog. The Smoky Jungle Frog, the Dying Poison Dart Frog, the Tomato Frog, the Costa Rican Variable Harlequin Toad, each Strawberry Poison Dart Frog, and the Tiger Salamander, all of which would be fantastic. Now we get on to the subjects of invertebrates. Now, beginning the list is one of the most controversial in terms of its possible inclusion into Planet Zoo, given how much work it would potentially need. Leafcutter ants. Ants are a very cool and diverse group of insects that I would personally like to see in the game, and they really do have intricate designed exhibits. So I would really like to see that replicated in Plant Zoo. Next we have the Hercules beetle, the orchid mantis, the spiny leaf insect, the giant African millipede, the camel spider, also known as the solifugid, the Lord Howe Island stick insect, the Madagascar hissing cockroach, the coconut crab, the Halloween moon crab, the land hermit crab, and the banana slug, all of which are cool invertebrates in their own right. I didn't include any spiders, as the camel spider, despite the name, is not actually a spider, but there are plenty of invertebrates to choose from, and these were just my top. Now we have some unique exhibit animals to cover. First of all is a fish, the Atlantic Mud Skipper, which would be a very unique and cool addition to the exhibit roster, being a fish that can be found out of water and in it. A quintessential species of the mangrove biome, and yeah, I would love to see a mud skipper in plant too. I think that would be really cool. Another cool species is the peacock mantis shrimp. Now, I'm, I know I'm getting into more aquariums here, but nonetheless, the peacock mantis shrimp would certainly be a phenomenal addition as their bright colors and strength in yeah, they are just a very cool invertebrate. I would love to see them, and the more crustaceans, the better, as we don't have any. And a shrimp, especially the peacock mantis shrimp, would be 
a vivid addition. Now onto possible exhibit mammals, we begin with the Rodriguez flying fox of Mauritius, the Indian flying fox, the common vampire bat, the seabird short-tailed bat, the pygmy slow loris, the Linnaeus's two-toed sloth, the naked mole rat, the sugar glider, black and rufous elephant shrew, the red and white giant flying squirrel, the northern Luzon giant cloud rat, and the greater Madagascar hedgehog tenrec, all of which would be fantastic exhibit hours to have, even if they are in regular exhibit boxes for some of them. But I do have an idea to possibly give these animals a bit more space and independence. The subject of birds has often been thrown up for debate, especially flying birds in the game. And these are two groups that I think could work well in the walkthrough exhibits. So first of all, we have hummingbirds with the ruby-throated hummingbird, the Arna's hummingbird, broad-billed hummingbird, Allen's hummingbird, the Costa's hummingbird, and the green-breasted mango hummingbird. The second group of birds you would have seen in my safari animal pack video. So we have the southern carmine bee-eater, the northern carmine bee-eater, European bee-eater, African green bee-eater, white-fronted bee-eater, and the white-throated bee-eater, all of which would be fantastic to really diversify the selection of animals that we have in the walkthrough exhibits. And if we were to get flying birds in any way, I would love it if the, these were the selections they went for for walkthrough exhibits. Let me know what you think. Now you might be wondering why you can see a false gharial on the screen, but given that exhibits are often associated with reptile houses and reptile precincts in zoos, I thought to make this, this pack a bit more substantial, maybe add a couple of habitat animals on the side, just four, just four habitat reptiles to really sell the pack to the, to the community and give the animals a bit more flexibility in their use. So the first habitat animal we have is the false gharial, a personal crocodilian favorite of mine from Southeast Asia. Despite the name, they are not actually the gharial. And of course, that's why they're called false gharials. They are not, they're actually quite an ancient species. And yeah, they are a very cool animal to look at. So I would love to see more crocodilians and given Frontier's work on previous crocodilians from DLCs, I think they would do a stellar job at the false gharial. A second crocodilian for the pack would be the Chinese alligator, one of the only crocodilians in Asia, certainly the only alligatorid. And the Chinese alligator is a critically endangered species that I would love to see. They are often housed in reptile houses or near them. And Chinese alligators would certainly be a cool addition to diversify that smaller crocodilian roster of which we only have the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. It would be great to see another animal fill that spot. Next, we have Australia's largest monitor lizard, the Parenti, a notable carnivorous monitor lizard from the outback of Australia that primarily feeds on other lizards. Their exquisite pattern would be certainly a fantastic thing to see. Given Frontier's work on the Asian water monitor, I think the Parenti would really look fantastic in the game. The African Spurred Tortoise, or Salcada Tortoise, is our fourth and final habitat animal, a species from the Sahel region of Africa that splits the, the Sub-Saharan South from the Saharan North. They are the third largest tortoise in the world and a common sight in many zoos and private collections. They were also included in Zoo Tycoon 2's African Adventure DLC, and if anything, I would love to see the third largest tortoise in Planet Zoo, and I think it, it would re look really, really good. Perhaps more than the animal DLC itself, the free update would, is probably the most substantial and most valuable part of this video. So it's been a topic of debate as to whether the exhibits would get any sort of update or be made more diverse. So I'm here to tell you a few ways that they can be improved. One way to better the keeping of mammals in exhibits is give them different sizes and shapes. So one thing also is having them be nocturnal exhibits as primarily nocturnal animals are housed in these sort of exhibits in indoor housing. 
So animals like the bats, the lorises, the tanrecs, and the naked mole rats would require their own select exhibits. And if they were to all have their own unique kinds of standalone exhibits, I think that would be really cool to give these animals a bit more individuality. Next, of course, is the different sizes and shapes for the exhibits. So you can have sort of corner cylinders, smaller squares, smaller rectangles, perhaps even triangular exhibits, and exhibits of just varying sizes and shapes. So these would be great for giving the animals a really different look in, in the game and have them be experienced in a variety of different ways. So you could have tiny poison dart frogs in tiny little exhibits next to the big smoky jungle frog. So that I think that would be really cool to be able to see these animals at different levels at it and in different sized exhibits to really get an idea of scale. Open air exhibits is another thing that I would like to see in the game, particularly for any owls such as tortoises. So the radiated tortoise and Indian star tortoise that I brought up earlier, they would fit in this category very well. As you can see in one of the images, you can see a radiated tortoise under a heat lamp. And many iguanas and other animals could benefit from this too, as they are often housed in these outdoor exhibits with access to heat lamps and much more space to roam. For specialized exhibits, particularly for the larger species I mentioned, so animals like the green anaconda, the alligator snapping turtle, king cobra, and giant salamander, all of which are quite large and probably wouldn't fit in the regular exhibits that we have. So having different sizes that are specifically designed for housing these animals and having different variants of these exhibits too would be perfect. Giving them different shapes, sizes, and functionality would be perfect for these animals to be housed in various different ways. And also for leafcutter ants, they re would require a completely new kind of exhibit to really mimic a colony and how their nests generally work with all these different chambers and trackways. I think that would be a really cool task for Frontier to handle and would add a very unique exhibit animal to the game. Something else I would like to see would be baby bats, baby sloths, and perhaps even butterfly chrysalises. And if we were to get the walkthrough exhibit birds, hell, get the little nests in there with eggs. Or just the chicks. <laughs> but giving these animals that are quite close to ones that you'd see in the habitats, I think giving them babies would be a great idea. And they could just stay in the one place. That, that, that could be it. Or they're just a smaller individual hanging out in the habitat. Either way, these animals would be great to see in their juvenile stages. And yeah, it would add to your connection to these animals too. Last two features I have would be null barriers for exhibits. So allowing your exhibits to be designed how you would like them. So you can nullify their barriers and add your own, like a moat or a rock wall, all sorts of barriers could be added if these barriers were able to be nullified. And the last feature would be the green iguana being able to have an orange variant and perhaps even a partially orange variant as in the breeding season, they really do brighten up in their coloration. And that's something I would love to see reflected in Planet Zoo. So there you have it. That is the exhibit animal pack. There are a lot of choices, of course. I only named a few, but Frontier could, of course, choose some more out there picks that aren't really thought of too often. But fan favorites like chameleons, cobras, and all sorts of other animals would certainly be appreciated to have in the game before it ends. Because this year could be our last. And I thought exhibits would deserve a real hit in terms of getting more animals and more features added to them to make them a really valuable part of your zoos and something that'd be very fun to build for and yeah if you enjoyed this video do leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye